we could go on, but the theme is really simple. Nothing is Joe Biden's fault. Not gas prices, not media prices, <laughs> meat prices, not the media's coverage of inflation, none of it. You know whose fault it is? It's Vladimir Putin's fault. According to Sandy Cortez, actually, you can blame white supremacists too. And that may be exactly the same as Putin. That's the reason white supremacy, that we only have 12 years to live. Watch this. The climate crisis is a crisis born of injustice, and it is a crisis born of the pursuit of profit at any and all human and ecological cost. That's right. Which means that we must recognize in legislation that the trampling of indigenous rights is a cause of climate change. The, the trampling of racial justice is a cause of climate change because we are allowing people and we are allowing ourselves to make sure to we are allowing folks to deny ourselves human rights. So the descendant of conquistadors is once again lecturing you about racism. OK, Sandy Cortez. It's easy to mock her. On the other hand, open your mind. Larry Summers just told us that January 6th caused inflation. He once ran Harvard. He's a very smart man, despite his repulsive table manners. So the idea that your racism is making the planet warmer isn't actually that far out as plausible. We can't say we're not scientists. The one thing we can say for sure at this point is that the people who screwed everything up are in no way responsible for what they did legally or morally. In fact, they're blameless. And we can tell you that with confidence because the one thing we know for sure is that Vladimir Putin did it. Shut up, traitor. He did. Jimmy Dore is the host of Jimmy's Dore Show. We believe he's a loyal American, not on Putin's team. He joins us tonight. Um, now, are you keeping a list of all the things Putin is doing? Uh, Russia is very powerful. They control a lot of things. Uh, they overthrew our government. They committed a coup on America. They control the gas prices and the Russia is responsible for our inflation. And let me just tell you, uh, last time I checked, Russia couldn't get their good vodka into Trader Joe's. So I don't think they're really controlling everything like they say they are. OK, uh, so the, the, the Democrats right now are in power. They have complete control of government. And like all politicians, they don't want to take the blame for anything. They want right. you to blame everybody and everything or anybody and anything for the pain that you're feeling right now, except blame them, the people with the power right now. And so that's why everything comes back to Putin, because Putin is a pro proxy for their Trump hate. Right. And you said Larry Summers blamed January 6th on inflation, which is an old uh, a Clinton advisor. So uh, what what they don't want us to realize is that we have unipolar government. Right. So yes. if you vote for uh, Joe Biden, it, it's you're voting for uh, Goldman Sachs. If you Mitch McConnell, the same thing, you're voting for our oligarchy True. and they don't want you to know that and as soon as people wake up that we've been being screwed by the same billionaires that control joe biden that control the republican party that's what scares them they don't want us to they don't want me on your show talking to your audience telling them that people on the left we smell a rat and we know that joe biden is completely controlled by the oligarchy and the corporations and right now the american people are paying the price what are we paying the price for not for putin's inflation not for putin's gas hike this is joe biden's invasion and this is NATO's invasion. This is right. Joe Biden's policies. These are Joe Biden's policies that are wrecking the dollar, that are propping up the ruble to the, it's stronger than it's ever been. And they're blaming a foreign country. Imagine if Trump did that. They'd be making jokes about it every night on the nightly news. Of course, they're not. I'm not I mean, on the nightly talk shows. But of course, they're not. They're all coddling. You saw Jimmy Kimmel have to coddle that old man, the guy who probably got stuck in a couch before he left that place. This is who's and you know, Joe Biden's not making the decision. Decisions. We all know that he's mentally right. impaired and we all know that Kamala Harris isn't making those decisions because she also can't speak in clear sentences. So who is really running the country? Well, whoever runs the Democratic Party, which is a handful of billionaires, those are the ones. So if you're paying a higher price, they did a controlled demolition of our economy with the COVID lockdowns. And That's nobody right. wants to take responsibility for that. COVID lockdowns, which Johns Hopkins University proved saved zero lives. They didn't make any impact on the death rate whatsoever. Right. So that they don't want to take responsibility for that. They want you to blame your neighbor. They won't want you to be angry at the oligarchs or Fauci or Big Pharma or the media that controls you, that makes you think that essential medicines are poison. They want you to blame your neighbor. It's everybody is a Trumper or they're not. It's your 
with us or against us. And that is a that's the only message they have left. And then they have censorship left because they have failed, Tucker. Why do you think it is that Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer are the leaders in the House and Nancy in the Senate and Nancy is the leader in the because they're not leaders. Those people have negative charisma. I wouldn't ask Chuck Schumer directions to the freeway. Why are they the leaders? Because they're the ones who take the most money from the billionaire class that actually runs this country. They take the money from them and they, they disperse it to the other members of Congress so they vote for them as leader, not because they're leaders, but because they're the most corrupt. Man, is that true. Great, Jimmy Dore. Great to see you tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.